Hey guys, Aaron and Dusty here and welcome back to the kitchen. So the holiday season is upon us and what better way to celebrate the arrival of Santa on his way <laughs> than with chocolate chip cookies and milk. Yes. So not just any chocolate chip cookies, they will be of course oil free, gluten free and vegan. <laughs> and the milk is dairy free. Today we are making hemp milk. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Join us here at the Eat, Move, Rest fam. Leave us some love in the comments below and share this with family and friends because we know you guys are gonna love this nutritious and delicious vid. As <laughs> always, follow both Aaron and I on all forms of social media at DB Stanzik, at Aaron Stanzik, and let's get cooking. So as we are making this video for you guys, I am nine days away from my due date, so baby S is well on his or her way. <laughs> Needless to say, I've been trying to eat as healthy and clean as possible, so gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan recipes are right up our alley right now. So we're gonna start off with the ingredients for the chocolate chip cookies. For your chocolate chip cookies, you will need one and a half cups of oat flour, one third cup of applesauce, which will take the place of oil, half cup of dairy-free chocolate chips, a half cup of a dry sweetener, we are using coconut sugar, a third cup of almond butter, a half teaspoon of baking soda, a half teaspoon of sea salt or Himalayan salt, two teaspoons of vanilla extract or vanilla flavoring, one tablespoon of flaxseed, which will be taking the place of our egg. The first thing you'll wanna do is head over to your oven and preheat it for 350 degrees Fahrenheit and line two baking sheets with parchment paper or Silpat. This is what Silpat looks like. We will link it below. First, we are going to mix our flax, our coconut sugar, our apple sauce, and our almond butter. Mix them all up together, and then we're gonna add more. Mix with a fork or a mixer. You're gonna add your two teaspoons of vanilla flavoring. So once all that is mixed well, you add your baking soda, your salt, your oat flour, and you mix again. Last step, add your chocolate chips and mix. Next step is to take our cookie dough and place it onto our baking sheet. We're gonna do about one and a half tablespoons per cookie dough ball, and we're gonna place them about two inches apart. Believe it or not, we should come out with about 24 cookies. So our dough is going to be very ooey gooey, but you can do your best to press them a little bit flatter because they aren't going to flatten out a whole lot in the oven. Now we are ready to pop these bad boys in and get them baked up. Best part about vegan cookie dough is that it's finger licking good, perfectly safe for the kiddos and for you to enjoy as is. So now we are ready to pop these puppies in the oven. We're gonna set them for eight to 10 minutes if you want them on the softer side, you know the drill, less time in the oven. If you like them a little bit more crunchy and dry, then a little bit longer. So we're gonna start with eight minutes. So we've got just five minutes to kill while those cookies are baking in the oven. So we are going to make ourselves some hemp milk for Santa Claus. <laughs> so if you're trying to steer clear of dairy, then alternative nut milks and seed milks are going to be your best bet. So if you guys haven't already, you can check out our almond milk recipe in the link below. But today we're gonna to make hemp milk, so let's get going. So we've only got a couple of minutes to kill. We're going to be using our almond cow. So this is a fantastic, quick, simple, efficient, and easy to clean up way to make your nut and seed milks. So the almond cow is super slick, like I said. We're gonna link that below if you're interested in it. Otherwise, you can use your blender and a nut milk bag. This is what a nut milk bag looks like. You can learn how to make almond milk with this in the link below for our almond milk. So we're gonna take the basin off and we're gonna put our ingredients in. So for our hemp milk, what you're going to need is four to five cups of water. We're gonna pour those up to the minimum line in here or into your blender. And then the rest of the ingredients are gonna go into the basin. If you're using a blender, all of these ingredients will go straight into your blender. So we've got one cup of hemp seeds, a crack of Himalayan or sea salt, 
two to three large or about six small pitted dates, and about a teaspoon of vanilla extract or vanilla flavoring, which we're going to pour directly into our liquid. So the timer just beeped and we are going to check on our cookies. It looks like eight minutes was just perfect to make them ooey and gooey, just how Dusty and I love them and Santa Claus too. <laughs> so the next and final step is to let your cookies set on your baking sheet for about five minutes and then transfer them to a countertop or a cooling rack. We're gonna pop the lid back onto our almond cow. We're gonna place it into the pitcher. From here, all that you have to do is press the button on the top and let it do its thing. Now we're going to take off our almond cow lid, and I always like to leave something for the overflow to spill into. We've got our pitcher and our fresh, slightly sweetened hemp milk. So there you have it. We've got our dairy-free, slightly sweetened hemp milk. And these ridiculously ooey gooey <laughs> and vegan chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> so I think it's safe to say that this year, Santa's big holly and jolly belly might be slimming down a little bit after the Stanzik residence <laughs> visit. But I think he's going to be pleasantly surprised with our vegan treats. <laughs> I know that my belly is not gonna be slimming down. I've already eaten like <laughs> half of these things and they are ridiculously good. Hits the spot. <laughs> you guys know the drill. If you like videos like these, give us a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you're not already. Hit the bell <laughs> to stay notified. Leave us some love in the comments below. And follow Aaron and I on all forms of social media at dbstanzik, at Aaron Stanzik, and what else? Make sure you share this with family and friends. We know everybody's going to enjoy these cookies and this milk this year. <laughs> and Santa Claus most definitely will as well. So from our hearts and our home to you guys, we want to wish you all a happy holidays, Merry yes. Christmas, and Happy New Year, all of the above from us to you. And we cannot wait to bring Baby S along with us on our future video journeys. <laughs> Eat, move, and rest your best. Peace. Bye, guys.